Well, before Nam, us soldiers lived different lives. Some were better than others. But when it came down to the Vietnam War, we all felt the same way. Receiving that letter still sticks in my mind today. It was shocking. I knew my world was going to change in some way. Good or bad, I promised myself that day I was going to come home like I'd never left. Little did I know, I was about to get the biggest reality check of my life. I had only been in Nam for two weeks when they sent me on my first assignment. I was with one other soldier, Wilson. He had been in longer than me and if he was scared, I was definitely scared. What happened next was where reality kicked in. Join up line on me. I was sure I was going to die that day, but they had other plans. I'm here to get you out. Okay. I'm gonna need you to be quiet if we're gonna get out of here. No, I've been shot. Listen, man, I have a plan, but my leg is pretty messed up. With your help, I think I can get us out of here. Sounds like a plan. Can you shoot? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, they're gone. I'm Bud. I'm Daniel. I'm sorry we couldn't have met under better circumstances. Same here. Me and Bud became best friends. He told me about his life and future plans. What's that, man? It's just a, a letter. It's from my girl, in case I don't come home. Don't think that way. It's gonna be okay. Thanks, man. But war is a horrible thing. It, it's almost as if it takes what you love and care about. I'm a scout ahead. Takes it away. We're way off track. We're out of the safe zone. That's why I'm scouting ahead. All right, it's clear. No! Bud, no! No, Bud, please! It's over. Give Samantha my letter. I finished my tour and got honorably discharged after that. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is 
what truly causes me pain. Not one of death, nor of being wounded. A pain of another kind. In war, there are no unwounded soldiers.